Down by 13, if my math is correct, Pewaukee uh, went away from icing this one up and vaulting themselves to a trip in the Division II Championship. And they will turn to one of their horses, Mike Dussel. They want to put Lodi to sleep. Justin Miller for Lodi. And as I mentioned, Mike Dussel here before Pewaukee. And I saw Justin Miller in that win against Stoke. Justin Miller took it to Austin Worso with great double legs, one right after another. So this will be a battle here at 140 pounds. Dusso was fifth in the division two at 145 pounds, defeated Max Loberger of Denmark 2-1 to, to stand fifth on the podium. Dusso and Miller. Three matches remaining. This one at 140, 145, and 152 to follow. And a point to be lucky. As uh, Miller with some contact to the face. And Chris Persick wants to talk it over. Checking out other action, 36-18. Mineral Point doubling up Hoosburg, 37-9. Coleman over Boyceville, 27-11 now. Alcanto Falls over Ellsworth. Wisconsin Rapids and Milton to decide the Division I team championship. All three divisions beginning tonight at 6 o'clock from inside the field house. So if you're in the area, come on down. You've got plenty of time. Expecting a solid, energetic crowd here tonight. Six first period. Dussel up one nothing. Penalty point given to him. Thirty-five seconds now. Do so with a leg attack, but now he's able to drop a level, trying to finish. He's got a single at the center and drops down and gets no takedown, no takedown to do so. Man, I'd like to see that one again. 16 seconds. Short time as the clock inside of five seconds and six to zero to end the first. Dussel up one nothing. Choice goes to Lodi. Miller defers and Dussel will start on bottom. And now Dussel taking off his right knee pad. Not, not exactly sure what that was all about, but nevertheless, second period underway. 
And Deuce and Lafayette pair with the escape, 2-0. Tell Miller looking for the devil, but Deuce is doing a nice job staying in, in good position with a good stance, keeping low. Now, one point to Lodi, as I guess indicated that Deuce was pulling the chin back. Two to one, a couple of penalty points in this match. Miller and Dusso, neither one of these two guys going to back down to anybody. And this one pretty physical, getting a little testy out there, as well it should. you, you got to be able to bring that intensity, that attitude to the mat. You can tell that Miller trying to measure things up and set himself up for a good down, but Dussel, he just he's too tough, he's too strong. And now they both go in and like a couple of battering rams. Intensity picking up now, it's 25 seconds, second period. Miller will have choice come third period. 10 seconds. Dusso takes a quick glance at the clock, and, and Miller just keeps coming. And Miller with choice. He'll start on bottom. He throws it by one, two to one. Final score between Mineral Point and Oostburg of 45-18 Mineral Points. Three-time defending champions in Division Three, And they will meet Coleman. Coleman up 41-9 over Boyceville. So that was the predicted matchup in Division Three. We're tied up at two apiece. A oh, nice shot there from Dusso, and Dusso dumps him for two. Huge takedown for the Pirates. And a situation there from Dusso just wouldn't be denied. Just a strong takedown. Just physical. Four to three, still plenty of time. One twenty. Ten, plenty of time, no need to panic. Better make sure you take a nice shot. I mean, these two are getting after it. I mean, this this is physical. This is fun to watch. These two guys are letting it all on the mat. And now do so with a single leg, and this could ice it up. A takedown for the Pirate up 6-3, to three, 40 seconds. And now Dussel's going to rely on that strength on top. Neutral. Lodi season can come down to this 20 seconds. Miller. Down by 2-6-4, he's got 15 seconds. Can he spin around and send this one to overtime? 10 seconds. Eight for the final, and Pewaukee will head to the Division II State Championship match.
do so a decision at 145 ices it for the Pirates. Matches at 145 and 152. And I believe this will be the first time that Kenny Walking will wrestle for the title. And well deserved. Coach Kurth has done a phenomenal job there building that program. And you know, like I said before, Coach Kurth, and they'll tell you this, he's tough. I mean, there, there are no secrets. You know what you're going to get when you wrestle for Coach Kirk. It's tough, but I'll tell you, you watch these guys interact together, they love them. They love them. He expects a lot, and, you know, rightfully so. He demands a lot, he expects a lot, but when you're a coach and your kids buy into your system and they see the results as Pewaukee has, you know, that's, that's what makes for a great program. He's jacked up. <laughs> Get a kick out of watching him. Two of the most intense coaches that I, that I really appreciate. Dan Hyde at Wausau West. Coach Kurt at Milwaukee. I'm not sure if there's two guys in this sport that hate losing more than those two. Coach Hyde at Wausau West, another phenomenal season. Always right there in the mix, one of the elite programs in the state. It's been like that for a long time. And uh, before Wausau West, Coach Hyde doing that at Sebastopol. Here at 145, for Lodi, it's Jesse Ziegler. And A.J. Oliveris for Pewaukee. Oliveris is senior, 29 and 20. Ziegler is sophomore. He comes in 18 and 8 for the Blue Devils. Pewaukee just was able to win the tight ones. They just they had a little bit more juice. You could just tell. A little bit more energy, more intense. You know, I, you know when you add it all up, it's too much for Lodi. We're going to have some new blood in Division 2 with Pewaukee and perhaps O'Connell Falls. O'Connell Falls up 27-14 on Ellsworth. Oliveira's a takedown. Now working at tilt. Still no points off at the tilt. And Ziegler able to grab a leg. Inside 20 seconds. First period sees its conclusion. 2-0 to the second. Pewaukee with choice. He'll defer. And Ziegler wants to stand his feet. And 135 pounds, it's, uh, I believe that is Colin Morrissey of Okano Falls wrestling DJ Yarwood. Morrissey, a three-time runner-up, fantastic career there at O'Connell Falls. Forty-five seconds into the second period, two nothing. Oliveira sober, Ziegler. Looking for another takedown. 
And Ziggler's got to be careful. Does a nice job there. I think wisely went to his base. Gave up the takedown. Better to give up two and give up five and a possible pin. 4-0. 40 seconds, second period. And a cradle there from Oliveras. He's got it locked and he's got the near fall points. Two near fall. Six nothing. Productive period for Oliveris. Another takedown in that cradle for two near fall up 6 nothing to the third and choice. Takes a look at Ed Kurth. And we'll start neutral to begin third period. Good crowd out here. When you come to these Division 2 and 3 semifinals, and of course you have eight communities, but that's the same with Division 1 on, on Friday night, but it's not even close. I mean, the, the crowd, the atmosphere, and I know some of that's the, the day of the week and stuff like that, but there's no question when, you know, these two, Division 2 and 3 communities, I can, I can guarantee in Coleman right now, there's, if you want to rob a bank and get away with it, go to Coleman. You know, same can be said, Mineral, Point, Blakesville, all these teams here. I mean, these, a lot of pride in these programs. And they get, you know, they have great fans. They travel well and just a great atmosphere here inside the field house. Good crowd. Really good crowd. And hopefully that will be the case tonight as we'll hand out team championships in divisions one, two, and three. Many remaining here in the third. Morrissey looking for a pin, and Ocadro Falls is going to beat Pewaukee for the Division II State Championship. Colin Morrissey sticking D.J. Yarwood. Ocadro Falls in Pewaukee, 6 o'clock tonight for all of the marbles in Division II. Happy for Colin Morrissey, really happy for him. Three-time runner-up, but as I said, I mean, I don't wish that on anybody. But he's you gotta forget about it. You know he's gotta step up for his team this week, and he's done that with a big pin against the tough kid in Yarwood. You pull for kids like Colin Morrissey. Been a lot of fun watching him the past four years, and I wish him nothing but the best. Ain't nothing now. And going back to that Cradle of Zalaveras, he's got it locked again. And he rocked Ziggler back for some more near fall points. Just 10 seconds. Can hang on here and get the major decision. 8 0. And that is going to be the case. 8 0 major decision for Pewaukee at 145 pounds. A.J. Oliveras over Jesse Ziggler. And now 35 to 15. Final matchup coming at 152. Final between Coleman and Boyceville, 44-15. Coleman. Coleman will be Mineral Point in Division 3. In Division 2, it's Pewaukee, Oconto Falls, and in Division 1, Wisconsin, Rapids, Lincoln, and Milton. The stage set for tonight's Team Championship Finals. Here at 152 for Lodi, it's Tony Zeman. And for Pewaukee, Jordan Porter. Porter at Junior, 13-7.
Zeman a senior, over 40 victories. Trying to find uh, Zeman's record. Zeman a state qualifier. PA said Zeman was a state qualifier. I'm trying to find him on my bracket. Three near fall from the cradle. Five nothing. Fifty seconds. First period. Five to one. Gets a set of 30 seconds, 25 seconds. Zeman right back in, deep single leg, spins him. Inside the circle, two more, and he's up seven to one. Final seconds, four seconds as they reset. And Zeman takes a six point cushion, seven one to the second. Zeman in command at 9 to 1. Zeman at the state tournaments fell to Justin Sauer of Bloomer. And I believe for Tony was one and done as uh, Sauer is beat by Brandon Mueller of Michigan. Zeman 45 and 3. Five in the second. Porter hit with Stone, and now Zeman gives the escape nine to two. Fifty second, second period. Oh, nice technique there from Zeman, and two more for the Blue Devil, eleven to two. Thirty seconds. Ten seconds, second period, another big period for Zeman. Eight 
11-2 to the third. Quarter to start third period on bottom. Pewaukee's day here today. And Ocancho Falls or Pewaukee will taste a championship a little bit later on tonight again. Six o'clock starts on from here inside the field house. Twelve to two. There, Zeman's got the cradle locked up. Give him three air fall points. Left to readjust for a pin. Now he readjusts. Now he can get a pin. Looks like that left shoulder is still up, so Zeman will take his points to make it 15-2. One minute remaining. Forty-five seconds, and this one will be in the box. Is even looking for that cradle again. And this will be a tech fall. Eighteen six will be the final. A tech fall for Seaman at one fifty two. As he ends his Lodi wrestling career. The final score, Pewaukee 35 and Lodi 20. Tonight, 6 o'clock, Division 1, Wisconsin Rapids and Milton. Pewaukee and Okano fall to Division 2. And Coleman and Mineral Point will battle in Division 3. For WIAA.TV, I'm Shane Sparks saying so long from Madison.